So I'm going to be talking to you about game changer. So let's start with my definition of what is game changer company. Usually those companies transform a sector or they create a new sector. Often those companies break the rules. Usually they reinvent customer relationship, customer experience. When you dig further, what do they need to succeed? They need creativity, certainly need determination, and they need vision of one pushing boundary individual. Our core hotels, which I run, has been a game changer company at least twice. 40 years ago, when it got created, two founders, De Brul Pelisson, decided out of uh, north of France, create the first hotel chain in Europe under the brand Novotel. Guess what? 44 years ago, Accor is the largest international chain company in the world. Second time, they've been a game changer. 35 years ago, they decided to go very quickly to Australia, to China, to Africa, to Brazil. 35 years ago, here I am with the biggest foothold in those territories. So it's probably my time to be a game changer again. And I've been appointed CEO of our core only 13 months ago. But before I do so, let me share something with you that I've shared with my team. Is you must, in order to succeed, look back in the mirror. You have to understand very precisely in which environment you're dealing with or you're dealing against. And on that segment, which is a leisure tourism segment, and being the size of a multinational, here's a two or three takeaways, which is fairly frightening. Number one, just think of yourself 25 years ago. You had the major 500 fortune companies. 25 years later, only 25% of those companies existed then, still exist today in the same 500 fortune ranking. And if you talk to many people, I guess that in 25 years from today, only a third of the existing 500 today will remain in the listing. Why? 90% is due to technology, data-driven, new generations opening new doors. Facebook, Amazon, Google of the world. Uber, just talked, and you heard uh, Travis talking to you about it. He's certainly be breaking the rules, the economic rules, and inventing a new service. What does it do for the leisure industry, my industry? Well, it's fairly simple. For 40 years, six big guys, Intercontinental, Starwood, Marriott, Hyatt, Hilton, Accor, mastered the market, controlled all the chain market. 12 years ago, first digital revolution, the online travel agencies, Booking, Expedia. Did we move? No. We thought it would be insignificant. Second revolution, six years ago, we called them the meta searchers. Trivago, Kayak, TripAdvisors. Did we move? No. 18 months ago, third revolution, Airbnb, Uber. Did we move? No. Why it's about time we move? Why? Because it's called the value chain proposition. For 30 years and over, we basically kept 
90% of the wealth creation. Here, 2014, a third half is being eaten away by the booking trip advisors of the world. So in order to be an actor and not a spectator, there's many things you need. The first thing you need uh, is talent. Financial resources in today's world, you'll find it. But you're only going to find it if you have a talent pool, people who's going to help you digesting, making the right diagnosis, and basically move forward. So I'm going to be sharing most of this, not with you today, and I apologize for this, except that I guess on the panel they may question me on it a bit. But we are, of course, going to be announcing on the October 30th in London, actually a digital day on explaining to my financial community, to my client, my franchisees, how ACO will be a game changer company in the next four to five years. But in order to do that, I needed to transform ACO and to make it ready and adaptable. Because the one thing that I guess I've been taught over the last 20 years in private equity, where I'm coming from, is when you enter a room always know the exit doors. Create, create yourself optionalities. Our core today has to get ready to enter this digital scene. And in order to be ready, I had to do something which is maybe obvious for many of you, but was not obvious for the last 40 years, is our core has been conducting for 40 years two businesses, two competencies, without knowing really the differences. Started as being a builder, owner, developer of hotels, and went into being an operator, franchise, or, or manager. Well, guess what? It is not the same business. Being an operator is a profit and loss margin business, with only thing in mind is product, brand, and clients. When you happen to be an owner, a builder, a constructor, it's a different business. It's a balance sheet driven business where you have to understand what is the cost of a dollar. You have to understand the risk you're taking with your dollars, i.e. you need to value the yield you want for your investment. So for the last 12 months, all my game has been how to adapt our core in order for our core to be able to enter the game changing world. So, and again, we'll be talking about it. I have two tasks in front of me. Our core transformation, which I told everyone is going to be a two to three year process because it does include changing culture. But it works. It's been working for the last six months, and I'm convinced that it will work in the next two years. But I just cannot wait for two years to enter the digital scene. So that's who I am, what we're doing. Uh, our core is probably one of the world best kept secret when it comes to size when it comes to strengths. Uh, we have 170,000 people in 93 countries with 14 brands. And our, our ability to adapt has been demonstrated by the last 10 years and the next 10 years. We open one hotel every two days in the world. Thank you.